So now let's talk about post and pre increment. So for that, let me remove everything. Let me just put the value of, let me print the value of i. For that, we need to define i here. So we'll say i equal to 1. So the initial value of i here is 1. And if I run this code, you can see the value is 1, right? Now let's say I want to add i by 1. So I can simply say i. Uh, equal to i plus 1 in a standard way or we can use shorthand by saying i plus equal to 1. There's one more way to do it. We can also say i plus plus. So whenever you say i plus plus it will add i by 1. So if your initial value of i is 1 it will add i by 1 and you will get 2. So i plus plus will give you 2. How about i minus minus? If I run this, it will be subtracting i with one. You will be getting zero. You will be getting zero. So that is that's how you increment and decrement a value by one. Simple. But with this, we also have something called. Let's say we have i plus plus, and we are just running this. We are running this, and you're getting value as two, right? Now what happens if I comment this? Okay. And here I'm saying i plus plus. So give a guess. Let's give a guess. If you run this code, you're expecting a value, maybe two, right? Because you can do I plus plus here, or you can do I plus plus here, doesn't matter. The output should be two, right? And when you run this code, and we are getting one. Why is the case? It's because this thing here, which is I plus plus is called as post increment, which simply means this, 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 this is called as post increment, which simply says, this operation here will do two, two things. First, it will fetch the value of i, the current value of i, which is 1, and it will then increment. So for printing, it will give only 1. So it will first fetch the value and then increment. That's what is called as post increment. After the operation, it will increment. Then you will say, so we do, so we have post increment. So we, we should also have pre increment, right? And you're right, you can also use pre-increment. So in pre-increment, it will first increment the value, then it will assign the value. So you can see if I run this code, it is 2. So this thing here is called as pre-increment. So whenever you say i++, plus plus, that's your post-increment. Whenever you say plus plus i, that's your pre-increment. Okay. Just to demonstrate this example more, let's create one more variable which is j. And the initial value of, no, no value for j initially, we'll simply say j equal to i plus plus. And instead of printing the value of i, let's print the value of j. So let's let's get, let's get try to guess it. So when you say, you, you're saying j equal to i plus plus, so it's this, since this is a post increment, it will first fetch the value. So the value for j will be 1. And then it will increment the value of i to 2. So if you are printing j, it will print 1. Let's also print the value of j. So let's also print the value of i. So first I am printing the value of j and then i. And if I run this, so the value of j is 1, the value of i is 2. But what if I say plus plus i? It will be both 2, right? So because it is, it will first increment the value and then assign the value. Simple. So that's how you have to use pre and post increment but there's a catch here what if if i say i equal to i plus plus now you will say okay we don't have j so let's remove j from here and uh, let's remove j now what will happen with this will it work let's see now we have i equal to i plus plus so it will first fetch the value which is one so it will assign one to i and then it will say plus plus so it will increment the value of i to 2 so the last value of i should be 2 and when you run this code it's 1 again why is the case so we'll solve this mystery in the next example yeah so make sure you watch this next part